Hello everybody, Giles Babbage here once again, and on this occasion I'm going to give you a quick rundown of some of the key features of a new product that I'm going to be testing over the coming months. This here is Low Pro Rucksack, it's the Rover Pro 45LAW. The 45 stands for 45 litres, the AW stands for all weather. It's a cover which pulls out from the bottom, totally encapsulates the bag, protects it from the elements, and we'll come to that in a while. So, the big selling point for me with this bag, as far as I can see, is that I often have this problem whereby when I'm heading outdoors on a camping trip, I want to take my camera equipment and I want to take my camping equipment. And often I have to make do with sort of a mishmash of, of bags. It could be a standard rucksack and then sort of a padded camera bag goes inside that and it's not always perfect. So what Lowepro claim to have done with this bag is to have created a carrying uh, system which allows you to take your camera equipment, keep it nice and safe, but also take things like your tent, your sleeping bag, your cookware and your clothes and all the bits and bobs. So what I'll do is just give a quick once over uh, of this bag. I've only had it for a few days, this is the first time I've had a chance to actually take it out and about. So let's have a look at the outside first. The very front here, some of you will know that I had a look at the Photosport 200 AW, it's a really nice small uh, little rucksack, it's available in orange or black, I had it in the orange and I will obviously put a link under this video if you're watching on YouTube to the uh, written review for that. One of the features I liked about that was it had this uh, expandable pocket here which is like a, a sort of mesh material and it's, it's quite stretchy but it's really good for things like uh, if you've got waterproofs you want to stow quickly on the outside so that if it does start raining or, or what have you, you can easily access it. So Lopro views this same uh, feature in this larger bag. You can see it is what it is, it goes right the way down to the bottom of the bag here. One nice feature on this bag is that you've got a quick release buckle on there. Now I've used this today for the, uh, the little Thermarest uh, inflatable mat that I've got here just to keep myself protected from the snow. But you can put all sorts of things down there. So. On the front here, you've got two uh, loops here and elasticated uh, cords. So if you're taking uh, walking sticks or ice axes, that sort of thing, you can keep those nice and uh, contained, nice and secure. On the top here, I won't move around too much because of the snow. It's already starting to get a bit damp on the back here. At the top here, you do have a nice little uh, pocket for just accessories. And I, I'm a big fan of, as you'll see, of uh, roll top dry bags, so I've got things like keys, a bit of money, um, just odds and ends in there. Again, it goes right down to the, the front here, it's quite a nice size. One of the biggest features on this particular bag is around this side. You can see here that I have got a, a, essentially a full-size tripod. This is a, a Gitzo Series 2 Traveller. Now, when I have been carrying tripods on traditional rucksacks in the past, what's really frustrating is, is a way to carry them whereby the balance is right or uh, they don't stick out too much and what have you. And I've used all sorts of um, gizmos, gadgets, straps, clips and, and what have you to secure the tripod. But what Lowepro have done here is created this really nice um, design whereby you've got the quick release buckles here and two flaps and then as you can see you've got these two straps and what you do is quite simply slide the tripod two of the legs in like that the other one clamps down and then you just fold these over and if I can find the clip here like this it's and my, my hands are pretty cold actually at the moment <laughs> so you can see it's really quite oops really quite simple to attach and that is absolutely absolutely secure if I lift the bag up you can see it doesn't budge brilliant. Around the other side, bear in mind that this is a bag designed not just for use in these conditions, I'm going to be using this throughout the year, through the spring, the summer, you know, autumn, so we're going to be getting sort of colder weather, warmer weather, it's a, a real range to, to put it through. So, on the other side here, you see there's a little badge here that says H2O. Now, more and more, Manufacturers are producing bags which allow you to keep a, a water reservoir, a, a pouch, something like a camelback or a platypus pouch. Uh, it's quite simple. Again, you've got these quick release buckles, they're all adjustable. And then you just oops, unzip this here, and the pouch will slide in here. But then what you'll do, once it's all uh, sort of zipped up, you'll see that in here, if I can explain this, 
this is where the tube goes. So the tube from your pouch comes up through there, obviously that will be zipped off, and then comes up over the top here, and you've got this elasticated uh, panel, well not panel, but elasticated section here which allows it to stay in place and then you can sip from the valve and, and you're good to go. So that's the, the front and sides. Um, not a lot more because it's a, a sort of nice simple design which I'm always a big fan of. Regular viewers or uh, regular visitors to the Active Photographer website will know this. Uh, let's go around to the back um, straight away. Often you'll find manufacturers of uh, photography bags, they have essentially a nice bag but they full at the last hurdle, they'll either overcomplicate the bag, pet peeve of mine, or they'll have a carrying system which just doesn't work. Now, Lowepro on here have got, from what I can tell, and as I say, I've only used it today for the first time, from what I can tell is a very nice, well thought out design. So, you've got uh, a couple of straps, nothing too thick, they don't need to be particularly thick if they're well designed and they spread the, rate, uh, the, the weight nicely. You've got adjustable uh, sort of back panel, you've got the straps here, which you can sort of, so you can bring the bag closer or further away from the back. Um, you've got the, the chest strap and obviously that will go across like that when you're carrying it. And this is actually really nice and quick to adjust up and down uh, on there. On the bottom here, you've got a really nice uh, padded waist belt which is really good because you want to be taking the, the weight, the majority of the weight down onto your hips uh, not on your shoulders because it really does fatigue you when you're out on the hill or out in the snow or what have you over the course of a day it really makes a difference so really nice um, padded straps around the side there and on each side you've got little um, pockets here for things like phone, keys, cash, whatever you might want to, to have things like um, uh, memory cards for example or batteries Again, quick release, it's all adjustable. One of the nice uh, features of this I've found is that actually when you come to um, to tighten it, often you would sort of pull straps around, what have you. You can just grab both sides uh, of the straps here and just yank them forward and it tightens up really nice. And especially when it's cold and you know you, you, you don't want to be fumbling around, that's brilliant. So the other feature here, you can see that obviously it's a little bit, uh, with the snow, it's a little bit damp now, but hopefully you can see if I just clip this back in so it's out of the way, you can see that there's a mesh panel here which is actually, with the, the back support, it actually sets the bag away from your back, which is really nice because, especially in warmer weather, when uh, you've got, when you're getting hot and you've got uh, a lot of sweat coming off maybe in the summer, you know, it, it keeps you, it's much more breathable, it, it keeps you drier and it's, it's a really good feature. The other thing I'll show you just on the bottom, and it's probably covered in snow, I haven't looked, uh, it's very durable material this, so you know I'm not too worried about it going in, in the snow. Uh, on the, the back here, oops, on the bottom, there's a zip, oops, oh I should just say, on the bottom here you've got two straps so you can attach uh, things like your tent uh, when you're going camping, it sits on the outside of the pack. So under here, I won't get it out now, but this is the all-weather cover, the AW cover, and basically that just pulls out. It's uh, on this particular bag. You've got a, a Velcro attachment, so you can totally remove it. So technically, you've got another little um, pocket in there, but you can totally remove it or leave it so it doesn't blow away if you're on a hillside or or what have you. So we'll just pop the everything back in there. Oops. There we go. And so that would actually come up and over over the complete exterior of the bag and secure around so if you are out in the rain or if it's snowing uh, you don't have to worry. That's basically the features uh, on the outside. Looking on the inside, this is the clever bit. So I'm going to just open the top and there's no pocket on the inside, on the top here, you don't necessarily need one. Um, a very simple draw cord here and inside I've packed just a few items that I might typically have when uh, he heading out, so I won't open everything up, but in here, um, I haven't got the, the water uh, pouch for a cold drink here, but in this bag, another dry bag, I've got a flask of tea, very important on a day like today, and I've also got uh, a little um, smaller flask with a uh, heated lunch, so something like people often use soup or noodles or pasta in a cup, that sort of thing, that's really good. I won't put it on the, the ground, so I'll put it straight back in. 
Um, I've then got just a little pouch here with some uh, some dry clothes. I've got some some socks just in case I. Uh, fell into a stream. You will have seen already that I was uh, jumping over streams on my way over here. Uh, that didn't happen, thankfully. Um, on the inside, you've got this pouch here. Uh, if you did have a small laptop or an iPad, that sort of thing, I would quite expect you could put that in there as well. So if I was shooting on location tethered to the laptop, um, I could take that with me as well. So this section actually goes down to about here uh, for, for space. But then what I'll do is I just want to show you the really, really clever thing. And this goes back to what I was saying about being able to take your camera kit and your uh, your clothing and your, your camp wear. So imagine in there I've got sleepwear, cookwear, all that sort of thing, sleeping bag. On the front, I've already said about this uh, pouch here, but this is one of the key selling points of this bag. You open up this zip, and inside, you can see the other pouches here, you've got these two um, padded compartments which are totally removable. Lopro do this in a 35 litre which obviously um, doesn't have quite the capacity. Um, with this particular model you're looking at somewhere in the region of two professional uh, DSLR cameras with a range of about four to six lenses, flash gun, a few accessories. So pretty much as much as I would want to take when I'm heading out uh, for, a, for a couple of nights or what have you. So let me show you just uh, what I've got in here. Just drop that down, being careful not to get it all in the snow. So you've got a grab handle here, and that is basically it. Really, really uh, compact. You've got a couple of handles here. So actually, you could take that just on its own if you wanted to pack it into a suitcase or something, if you're going on a holiday or, or what have you. On the top here, you've got a couple of mesh pockets. Really nice. And I will show you what I've put in here. This here is a Nikon D3 with a, an 80-200 to 200 telephoto lens and you've got a, a couple of pockets on, on the lids here. This is all padded and what have you and you've got all the dividers that you can move around as you'd expect. But Lopro also supplied this little um, uh, matching pouch as well which is really handy. So what I've got in here is I've got a spare battery for the camera and I've got one box of memory cards and that's all I've got in here because I'm, I'm running sort of light. So I just pop that back in there, and that's really it. So if I take that out, oops, I'm a bit upside down here. There we go. So you can see that is the uh, capacity, and that's it. It's really, really nice. Just going to check that I haven't got snow all over this. No, that's okay. So that goes back in. So that's you essentially what I would use for my sort of main camera setup and, and what have you. So I will just keep this out of the snow. Just put this in here. Keep that snugly in. Bring that across. This other pouch, as you can see, is slightly smaller. And then in here I have got just to give you this is just as a as a, an idea. I'm not suggesting that you have to have exactly what I've got. You might want to take four or five lenses. Even myself, it depends what shoot I'm um, engaged in, where I'm doing it, what the requirements are. It might be that I have more camping equipment but less camera equipment. It really varies. So on this occasion today, I've got a 24 to 85, a flash gun uh, just in case. I've got some spare batteries in here, and I've got a little, uh, coincidentally, a little low pro pouch here. This is the D-Res 20AW uh, and that's got my audio recorder in because I'm going to be recording some uh, some content for the podcast as I walk out of the, the woodland here. And that is basically it. Again you've got pockets in the lid and it's just a really nice compact system. You can see, if I take this out, you can see the amount of space that you've got in this bag is just fantastic. So I would have no hesitation and I, I won't have any hesitation because I'm in yeah, I'm going to be testing it out shortly. Um, taking my camping kit, a basic camera uh, kit, and that should do me on uh, sort of a couple of nights away, even more maybe. So I'm just going to try to pop all of this back in. If it doesn't go too well, I'm going to cut, and <laughs> you won't see me fumbling around. But that is essentially uh, it. There is a slight shaping. I find it's uh, easier just to put the shaping on the outside. There we go. Important thing with things like bags, when it's a, a day like today and your hands are cold, you want to make sure that you're going to be able to access it really uh, easily in the cold, which is one of the reasons I wanted to show uh, to show you this uh, today. So just 
making sure I've got some really nice uh, pull ties on here, rather good. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned you've got a, a pocket on the inside of the lid there, and that goes all the way down to the bottom. So, that is just about it. Just put my flask in there, ironically, because I'm just about to take it out again in a moment. <laughs> uh, the other thing I did have in here, and you won't um, see this, I've actually got a, uh, a basher, like a, a, tarpaulin, a tarpaulin, essentially, just over the top here, because the trees are starting to drip the snow where it's melting. Um, so... You know, if you're if you're going out on location, you're shooting some stock pictures, or if you're re uh, doing a recce of a location, and like me today, I wanted to make sure that I was undercover uh, when I was recording this video. You can put a, a quick impromptu um, shelter in the bag. It's really, really quite versatile, from what I can tell. So that is uh, basically it. There will be a full review in the fullness of time with. Uh, photographs showing all the uh, compartments and, and key details and um, yeah I just wanted to give you a quick uh, quick rundown of some of the key features here so that is the front of the bag there's the side there's the back there's the other side that there is the low pro rover pro 45l aw rucksack <laughs>